So the last thing I'm going to do before I wrap up this comment section is uh, apply a few more bootstrap styles to this commenting thing. I want to make this image round and uh, for no reason. And I want to apply the button class to this uh, reply link right here. And also I'm going to float it to the right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first thing I need to do is add a couple of filters for both the image and the um, link. Now, I, I don't think this is my functions file. Yeah, to this point, I haven't talked about filters yet, but what they do is uh, they modify HTML, or you can modify even the database um, for WordPress functions. Uh, I'll show you what it, what it's doing. For the first function, we're going to filter is the get avatar. I don't know. I don't want to put all that. You just need to put the filter uh, or the function name inside the filter, and then um, you have the second function name you have to put is uh, the function that you create for the filter. So I'm going to call it add avatar class. And then I should probably put a comment filter for adding the class to the thumbnail or avatar thumbnail. Um, the function it's got to be called add avatar class so I'm just going to copy and paste that control C and then paste it and then let's see close it like that it's going to take one parameter actually it's going to return a parameter and it's going to be called class and let's see class is going to be equal to and uh, here's kind of the tricky part we want to replace what this function is already putting there with what we want to put there so we need to put it use a uh, string replace function and what we're going to do is you see it says search uh, replace and subject we're going to search for um, class equal to uh, avatar and then uh, we're going to replace it with um, class equals to uh, what's it? Oh, image dash circle and the subject is going to be class so oh actually I don't need to do that not in quotes class and then um, I'll close that out and then finally I'm just going to return it so when it's returned uh, the HTML will render with uh, these classes applied to the avatar let me save it really quick just to check and of course it doesn't work. Let me go back and find out why. And I didn't put quotes. So let me put quote here and here and then here and here and save it. And it still doesn't work. Oh, and that's because, okay. Uh, this is a string replace function, so we're not replacing the entire class uh, between the quotes. So why don't I take that one out and then this one. So it'll just be one single quote before avatar and then one single quote before image circle. And then let me refresh it now. Now it works. Um, okay, again, I want to add another filter to the reply link. So let me do the same thing. Uh, I'm tempted to just copy and paste this, but then it could become a little confusing, so I'll just type it all over again. And we're going to add, uh, let's see, bootstrap, btn style to uh, reply link. And we're going to have to add another filter. Right, take that out. And close it. Might as well close it now. It's going to go to the uh, comment underscore reply link. So I'm just going to copy that. Place it right here. And then I'm going to have to name a new function and I'll just call it add um, reply underscore link uh, class. Just like the avatar. And I'm going to need to wrap that in single quotes. Just like that, and um, scroll down a little bit. Create the function, and it's going to be called add reply link class. 
Just copy and paste that. And uh, just like our avatar, it's going to take that same class. And let's see. It's going to be structured the exact same way. And what we're going to search for is um, class equal to, and remember to put that one single quote, uh, comment dash reply dash link. And then we're going to replace it with um, class equals to, and the one single quote, btn, btn dash mini pool, right? And the subject will be our class variable. Uh, okay. And that with a semicolon, and then I also need to return it. And that was some calling. Okay, let's just review this really quick. I'm adding the button and button mini, not button min, uh, class, and I want to pull it to the right. So let me save it. Let me save it. And when I refresh it, this should turn into a button like this and then float to the right. And it did. And that will be it for this commenting section. Um, I guess I could test out the reply. And let me see. Oh, when you do that, you get this little link here. It says click here to cancel the reply. Uh, we could probably add some style to that, but I'll leave that to you. Uh, if you want to reference that, it's over here in the uh, comments.php uh, file, and it's somewhere in here. Here it goes. And you can style that to your liking. You can even add a filter like I just taught you, and I don't know, maybe make it a button or whatever. But uh, here is my reply. Um, it's the WordPress. Now let's submit this and hopefully it just works. And sure it does and it's uh, nested within here. And um, with that I'm gonna go ahead and end the comment section and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.